Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor and Advice. This is going to be a Scorpio reading from October 26th to October 30th. And this is just a general reading, and there is hundreds and millions of Scorpios out there, so this is not going to be every single Scorpio story, okay? Also, feel free to stop around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross-watcher or someone that you're dealing with, and there's really no such thing as gender in tarot, even if it's the same-sex relationship. So you guys, feel free to stop around the gender as well, okay? All right, Scorpio, October 26th to the 30th. One more shuffle for Scorpio, October 26th to the 30th. Okay, let's see. I'm using my zombie deck. So let's see, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. So you could be at a distance from somebody. Um, yeah, Page of Wands. Messages. Whoa. Okay, so somebody could be messaging you right now. Um, just because I feel like you guys are at a distance. Whether that's physical distance or emotional distance. But, you know, you guys could just be in different locations, right? But with the Six of Cups, you guys are still um, remembering the good times between you guys. Even if you guys are kind of being cold to each other. So let's see, Scorpio. And um and I am probably gonna upload these videos. I do wanna upload like um videos for singles. So I will do, you know, people who are super single, like not dealing with exes, not you know, not even going out. <laughs> you know, so I, I wanna include that and I probably will. So uh right off the bat, Scorpio, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Moon card. You could be dealing with the Pisces here. But honestly, what it or and then there's the Scorpio card here as well. Honestly, what it looks like though is that someone is because you you could have distanced yourself from people that you were just too forgiving on or vice versa. Um, I feel like someone is wanting to put in the work, even if you guys are at a distance from each other. It's just with the Moon card, it's an illusion to think they don't really care. Okay, with the Knight of Cups, they're just wanting to come in very slowly and strategically. You know, they want to be smart about it. They don't want to just come rushing in. So, let's see. Scorpio. Yeah, with the Two of Swords, I honestly feel like someone is kind of closed off. Yeah, but again, Six of Cups. You guys still have this love for each other. Even though it's like when you guys think of the past. Yeah, someone wants to come forward. With the King of Wands, that's also somebody who is very passionate, goal-oriented, goal-driven. They're not afraid to chase their dreams. So even if it's, if someone is being closed off, that's motivating the other person to come forward. Uh, let's see. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So even if someone, if you left someone out in the cold because they weren't kind of putting in much effort or vice versa, feel free to swap it around, guys. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, even though it's a challenge for somebody um, to put in equal give and take with the Queen of pentacles so someone else was very nurturing down to earth and i feel like now the other person is focused on making this work so scorpio what is that nine of pentacles see queen of cups and the ace of cups so i feel like someone does want to prove that they do care about you with the ace of cups they want to prove that they do love you but right now they're working on self-love yeah, with the High Priestess here, this could be something that you know that someone is working on themselves. Because the High Priestess is somebody who's highly intuitive, kind of like a psychic, an empath, a clairvoyant. Yeah, see, with the Tower card, um, someone was sabotaging this relationship due to jealousy, ego, pride. You know, they were letting all that get in the way that they weren't really willing to admit that they do care about you. And so now I feel like this person is healing those issues about themselves, you know, because that was ruining the relationship. Somebody was just so insecure that it was causing the relationship not to be stable. And so with the two of wands now and the wheel of fortune, um, things are not what they seem. This person is heading in a new direction that will be better. With the four of pentacles right now, they might be holding back, but it's because with the six of sword, knight of cups, again, they're coming forward, but they're being strategic about it. They don't want to just come rushing in. Because they don't want to be codependent. They don't want to be toxic due to the past. Uh, they're trying to move forward in a positive direction that will actually... Like, look at this Knight of Cups. He literally has the brain in his hand. Okay, so he wants to be strategic about how he does this. He's trying to use more logic. Um, let's take a look here. And then here we have at the bottom of the deck the Four of Cups. So this might be moving slower than you'd like or vice versa. They're kind of taking their sweet time on coming forward. But it's just, um, like I say all the time, some people where they're at in their journey requires them to be alone. You see Eight of Cups here. There's some emotional baggage here that the other person, you or them, are letting go of so that this relationship could work. So I feel like someone might have codependency issues. 
yeah six of pentacles that way this situation could balance out and be more equal um i feel like somebody kind of didn't know how to yeah see five of pentacles six of pentacles can i get one more card here yeah eight of wands and the sun card so someone might talk to you about or vice versa you might talk to them about how they kind of feel kind of left out and they want to make this work and with the death card and the sun card you could also be dealing with an aries i feel like this is going to be a more stable connection here yeah page of cups knight of cups so someone might come across as just saying hey i'm sorry and very indecisive but i honestly feel like it's not that they have more than one option okay with the king of swords knight of wands and the nine of swords it's just hesitation due to doubt, insecurities, stress, anxiety, insomnia. You know, I feel like somebody is so stressed out that they're coming across as emotionally detached. But it has nothing to do with you. Feel free to stop it around, guys. It has a lot to do with insecurities and um, stress. Okay, I feel like someone is scared to come forward uh, because of their insecurities. And so then we have the two of uh, pentacles, two of swords, where they're coming across as closed off. But with all these twos, I feel like um, within the next two weeks, just keep the faith. You know, there's just a lot of emotions, you know, mood swings that need to be worked on. So I feel like within the next two weeks, um, you're going to be getting what you want. And the communication is going to be a lot clearer and a lot better. Okay, but and they will be coming in a lot faster. So, yeah, I really do feel like in two weeks, you guys will have a brand new opportunity. Um, someone that you could have broken up with. It will be a whole new cycle. It's, you guys do not have to take this person back, okay? I'm just saying the messages on the cards. So uh, let's see. With the Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, Scorpio. Yeah, Three of Wands. So there's going to be more patience and more planning this week because with that Death card, someone is changing their ways, okay? They're becoming a whole new person. It's like a resurrection in a way. And while this is happening, I know you're probably not going to be liking the speed of this. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles because someone is thinking that the other person is happily single. Uh, but again, with the temperance card here, it's just a lot of patience. This person is trying to be logical on how they come in. You see nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Someone might be holding back from you two being together and happy. But it, again, it's just, it has nothing to do with you or this other person. It's just patience. This other person needs to change their ways, change their perspective. So three of pentacles, you know. Um, this could be more balanced. And also with the Three of Pentacles, right now is a good time to start any jobs, um, teamwork, any, you know, you know, if you guys are an entrepreneur, right now is a good time to start that this week, okay, guys? Like any side job idea that you're having. Scorpio, October 26th to the 30th. One more shuffle, Scorpio. October 26th to the 30th. Yeah, go forward fearlessly, okay? So if you're feeling like, well, you know, Again, I feel like it's some sort of job that you guys might be thinking of, like a business partnership or even just getting a new job. It's saying not to be hesitant. Go forward for that. Yeah, detach from the situation. So you should be working on balancing your mind, body, you know, mind, body, soul, spirit, pretty much um, balance that out. Detach from the situation. This will get better. And it says this is your life's purpose. So if your purpose is to kind of counsel somebody, you know, give them advice on how to work on themselves. You know, it's saying that that's your purpose here. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So if in the past you might have left this person or kind of um, started to look at things from a different way. If you look here, she's looking up at the sky and there's an angel whispering to her. You know, um, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Okay, so they are talking to you. You know, higher guidance. You just have to be open to noticing the signs. Okay, see it says prayer will help this situation. So if you feel like, well, if I completely abandon this person, you know, they're not going to come back. It's telling you go forward fearlessly, detach from the situation and just pray on it pretty much. So let's see what the message is from your person, Scorpio, October 26th to the 30th. One more shuffle, Scorpio, October 26th to the 30th. And when it says detach, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you say. You know, you could say like, look, I'm, you know, I'm going to let you go for now so you could heal. It doesn't matter what you say. It look it matters more on what you do. So, for instance, if you were to go traveling or something like that, it'll energetically make the other person believe that the other person is over it. You know, like, well, that person, they look all happy living their life and traveling and everything. 
So that'll motivate the other person to kind of change more in a way. Even like there's no words that have to be said. You know what I mean? So let's see. Scorpio, October 26th to the 30th. One last shuffle. I'm afraid to contact you. See, if somebody were to just kind of detach from the situation and work on themselves, it's kind of like you start elevating your vibration so high that the other person is kind of forced to raise their vibration as well. That way they could kind of energetically be on the same level. See, it says, I'm so attracted to you. So even if you were to choose to respect yourself and detach from the situation, again, with the law of attraction, that person is going to be attracted into changing themselves so they could come forward. We need to let each other go. And that's on the tower card here. So upside down. So again, someone needs to let go. That way they can work on their ego issues, their jealousies, their insecurities, any doubts or hesitation that they have. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, someone's very insecure here for some reason. Um, I keep getting that and they're not showing it. I'm becoming a better person. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Can I get one more card? Okay, one more. <laughs> Scorpio, there you go. October 26th is the 30th. I couldn't let you get close to me and I regret lying to you. So in the past, someone could have made this very difficult, but now they have regrets, okay, with I'm afraid to contact you and I hope that you could forgive me one day. I feel like somebody could have been kind of um, being difficult on purpose because they were afraid. They were looking at every relationship as a potential heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's like there's just someone needs to work on their insecurities. I feel like it has nothing to do with the other person, but their own issues. I feel you even though we are apart, I can't stop thinking about you. So, yeah, someone is going to be transforming because they are not going to be able to move on. Okay? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye.